Hi everyone, it's Tovia at Labichi Cleta. Today we're standing inside the very first ASOS Pro Shop in North America. I'm going to show you their new entry-level model of bib shorts called the T-Neo Pro. Now since the brand does such a nice job with their packaging, why don't we take a moment to unbox a pair. We've got some cool co-branding with a Formula One team. Some nice imagery and information to get you excited. A booklet with the rest of their lineup. And finally, the shorts themselves. These shorts, being the entry-level model, use similar materials and technology as found on the upper-end models, just with a simpler construction. Now, the fit, they're uh, suitable for most riders in most riding situations and make a great daily workhorse. Now, moving through the shorts from the outside inwards, the first thing we'll notice is on the back itself, what's with all this printed material? The idea is that inside most other pair of bib shorts, you have a sewn-in tag with washing instructions, materials, what have you. And that's just an unnecessary friction point against your body. So they've taken the liberty of putting that content right onto the back itself. The back panel is quite narrow. It's highly perforated and very breathable. And it transitions up into these very flat and wide shoulder straps. Now the shoulder straps, actually sit on your shoulders and run down to your hips, as opposed to most other shorts, which will sit on your neck muscles and move down to your stomach. They have a very wide, very open, natural stance. So once you're actually on the bike, you tend to forget about those shoulder straps. The waist itself sits quite low relative to the beginning of the chamois. And the leg panels themselves are made with three panels that are ergonomically shaped, and they use the proprietary 429 technology, which means that it's knitted, so it's highly abrasion resistant, and it's actually directionally stitched so that it will complement the natural flow of your legs as you're on the bike. The leg grippers are actually quite big, and on the underside, they have just enough silicone tabs to keep the panels locked onto your legs without feeling overly glued onto you. Moving inside, this is where the magic really happens. We have here the new S7 generation chamois, which is sewn as one piece into the shorts. Uh, that means they look quite funny here, but once they're put back into place and on your body, the shape itself makes a lot more sense. They use what's called Golden Gate technology, which means the chamois is actually not sewn into the shorts on the sides. So why would they do that? The idea is that um, they want the chamois to stick onto the rider's body and not be a point of friction between your body and the saddle when you're moving around either up and down or on and off the bike. So this just stays nicely locked onto you. The chamois itself is eight millimeters thick with high density foam, so it'll never actually compress and then stay that way. It will always sponge out back into shape. On the very back here, you'll see there's a relief cut. And again, the idea is that the chamois should stay as much as it can locked onto your body. So when you go down into your riding position and then back up again, it's the panels of the shorts themselves that will sort of cradle back and forth and the chamois stays on your body. So there you have it. Uh, their entry level shorts, the T-Neo Pro, minimizes all sorts of seams so there reduces friction on your body. It has an excellent chamois and all for a price point that makes it very attractive to people new to the brand. Actually, considering how much value you get in these shorts, it makes them just as good as the top of the line models found in other brands. Thank you very much.